Apps have allowed developers to be creative and bring out new useful features for our smartphones. But finding the right one is always very difficult. So here are a few of those. And these 5 applications here will make your phone more functional while keeping everything else simple. So let's get started. So the first app here is Stop Ad and it's amazing. It will remove ads almost completely from your phone. That includes browsers, apps, and even games. However, it does not remove ad from Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. But apart from that, it blocks ad from more than a million apps. Chrome, Firefox, SoundCloud, Pinterest, and the list goes on. It's not on the Play Store though. You need to download the APK and install it. The process is very easy and the download link is in the description box below. Then you can enable it from the app itself and it will start blocking the ad. And from the statistics here you can view how many ads this app blocked and while blocking ads it's not downloading unwanted data resulting in data savings and just by installing this app you will be saving significant amount of data. And it will be running in the background to stop ads but it's a very lightweight app and will have minimal impact in your battery. So do try this one. The next one here is Intervalometer. And for anyone into photography, you will like this one. So Intervalometer in DSLR captures pictures at certain interval automatically for a high quality time lapse. And this app allows the same in Android. So inside this app, pressing this button launches a floating bar. Here you can enter time interval and number of images you want. And then this floating bar will stay on top of any other app. So just open your camera and you need to let this app know what the shutter button is and this app will automatically press the shutter for you resulting in amazing time lapses. You do need to put those images back together for the time lapse though. And all of the time lapse shown in this video were recorded using this app and a mobile tripod. The next app here is Sesame Shortcuts. This one adds shortcuts to Nova Launcher and it's very useful. It feels like Nova Launcher should have these features by default. So in the search bar, which launches by the home button press, here you can search for music, WhatsApp messages, contacts, emails, Netflix or even do a normal Google search. Everything right from the search bar. And from the app you can see all the shortcuts that can be accessed. You can directly go to settings, you can play Spotify songs. It's very easy and once you start using it, everything will be much quicker. Next up is Zoe. Recently launched Zoe is a Reddit client with great design for mobile devices. No ads and minimal features that might incline you to make this your default Reddit client. There are many layouts to choose from, fonts to customize, themes to choose, and there are also some unique features that are not in other Reddit apps like this data saving feature which will limit the quality of content, autoplay of GIF and videos is also a great feature. So if you use Reddit a lot, do try this one. The last app for this video is another widget. It's basically a clock weather and calendar wizard all of them combined in one for your home screen. You have few customization options to change the way it looks. You can change the font, color, size and you can also choose what you want to display. You can make it to display all information or you can just make it to be a weather wizard. You can also link each part to open an app when it's touched. This widget will work great with Nova Launcher and it will make your phone look like Pixel 2. That's all about this video guys. Hope you found some great app for yourself and do subscribe for more app and stuff related to Android. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.